On April 12, 1955, when Jonas Salk's vaccine was shown to uh, be effective in a large trial, he, he did become this international hero. And I would say that the prevention of polio uh, probably is one of the most important um, achievements in medical history. Um, the interesting thing is, is that this wasn't done uh, by a pharmaceutical firm or research institute, but by a, a single man. Uh, just with his research associates. So that was quite incredible. So it surprised me that while heads of states around the country, around the world actually, rushed to honor him, that the scientific community uh, remained uh, ominously quiet um, and that their rebuke really cast a shadow over his achievements. Uh, Basil O'Connor, the, uh, as I said, the powerful director of the National Foundation for Infantile Paralysis, said that the scientists acted as if uh, Salk had halitosis or had a, committed a felony. Uh, so I wondered what was really behind this. It started out that Salk, of course, was, was quite junior and wasn't a member of the scientific brotherhood. Um, and in, he had made this vaccine uh, and tested it really in secret, almost behind their back. At the same time, challenging what was um, a closely held principle at that time that only a vaccine made with a live virus could prevent a disease for a lifetime, as, as smallpox had. And Jonas Salk made his uh, from a killed vaccine. Um, the second was uh, that Jonas Salk, they claimed, had grabbed the limelight and in doing so had neglected to give credit to other scientists. And uh, the third was that Jonas Salk reached out to the public, as, as few scientists, maybe with the exception of Pasteur, uh, ever had. And uh, in that, uh, he had kind of crossed that imaginary line of uh, proper academic behavior and um, was uh, accused of kind of uh, pandering to the press, uh, soliciting uh, media attention. Although nominated never time, many times, he never received a, um, uh, the Nobel Prize. Uh, maybe even more egregious, however, was he was not, he was probably blackballed from the National Academy of Sciences. And some said that uh, his, uh, he really never made an important scientific discovery. Um, others kind of compared him to a director of product development for a pharmaceutical firm. Uh, one of his friends said, well, look, when he made that vaccine and all the success that followed, uh, he probably received more celebrity than uh, most physician scientists in the history of medicine. So don't discount envy. That envy is fierce uh, in the world of science. But Saul did contribute to it a little bit himself. Um, he had a very unconventional approach to science, talked about intuition, and used a lot of metaphors. Uh, uh, didn't quite walk the walk and talk the talk of the usual academic scientists. In fact, himself, he said, uh, I marched to a different drummer. Uh, but somehow the disparity uh, between what he accomplished and his recognition can't, can't just be explained by that.